what's up guys this is Sonny back with another video and today real quick I'm making this video because some of you guys asked me to make this video so today real quick we'll compare this three motherboard chipset you know how these motherboard chipsets are different from each one so the first motherboard I have here you guys can see Asus ROG straight B450 okay and then we have Gigabyte X470 and then we have Astrak X570 now currently I have Asus uh, Straits B450 motherboard I'm using in my main workstation so I can really tell you guys uh, everything about this motherboard but again we are not comparing the specs of any of this motherboard we are just comparing the chipset okay and then you guys can see the Gigabyte X470 uh, motherboard here I also did own this motherboard at this very moment I don't have this motherboard I just ordered the Astrak x570 phantom gaming motherboard i'll have an unboxing and also like a in-depth uh, review stay tuned if you want to see uh, that video now also this motherboard is the cheapest x570 motherboard uh, you can pick up so real quick let's just compare the chipset the main difference between b450 x470 and x570 if you're planning on uh, running SLI with the B450 motherboard then you have no luck that's the only biggest difference between the B450 chipset and X470 and X570 with X470 motherboard and X570 motherboard you can run SLI with B450 motherboard you can run SLI but you can run all the way up to like a quad uh, crossfire okay so you can the crossfire support B450 motherboard does have no SLI support you can run like a single NVIDIA graphics card now with B450 X470 and X570 of course you can run Ryzen 3000 series CPU now remember order for you to uh, run uh, Ryzen 3000 series CPU with B450 and X470 motherboard you need to update the motherboard BIOS so in order for you to update you need Ryzen first gen CPU or the second gen CPU you cannot just uh, you know install your Ryzen 3000 series CPU to your B450 motherboard and X470 motherboard and just think it will work out of the box no you need to update the motherboard BIOS now with X570 motherboard you can just plug and play Ryzen 3000 series CPU because this motherboard is made for Ryzen 3000 series a CPU. The biggest difference between the X570 and X470 and B450, the X570 motherboard have better power management, better VRM. The X570 motherboard is a lot more beefier, uh, you know, tougher compared to B450 and X470. If you're if you're buying for the first time, like if you're if you're just planning on buying right now a Ryzen 3000 series CPU. Uh, brand new then I would highly recommend go buy a x570 motherboard like the cheapest x570 motherboard the one we have here for $154 because you basically have less headache and if you're planning on overclocking your Ryzen uh, 3000 series CPU like let's put this way Ryzen 5 3600 all the way up to like Ryzen uh, 9 3900x then you will have uh, better luck with x570 motherboard compared to uh, B450 or X470 motherboard. I'm currently running the Asus ROG Strix right here, a B450-F motherboard. And after I update the BIOS to the latest version 2406, that's the latest BIOS. Currently, my mouse is not working at all. Uh, I can use the keyboard and you know go to like different different settings and stuff on the BIOS. And currently using the air tweaker, I can overclock my Ryzen 5 3600 CPU. So that's like the biggest no-no with the B450 motherboard currently. Now I did manage to overclock my uh, Ryzen 5 3600 CPU using uh, AMD's Ryzen Masters. But again, I run Hackintosh with my uh, AMD build. So you know MD doesn't provide uh, Ryzen master for Mac OS so then I can overclock my uh, Ryzen uh, CPU if I'm using like uh, you know Mac OS with this build now let's look at uh, the difference um, one more difference uh, you guys uh, really need to look at the memory right so with b450 motherboard you can 
overclock your uh, memory to or run up to 3200 megahertz uh, DDR4 uh, RAMs. So you guys can see, uh, same with the X470. Now, if you look at uh, the X570, you can go all the way up to 4066 plus. So that's really good. That's like out the box. If you have a high speed memory, uh, you will have more luck with X570 motherboard compared to uh, X470 or B450. Now, one more thing, maximum memory supported. Now with B450 and X470, you get to run, you know, max RAM all the way up to like 64 gig. But with X570, you can run all the way up to 120 gig. So if you are, let's put it this way, if you're planning on running Ryzen 9 3900X, the 12 core, 24 thread CPU, and you wanna maximize the RAMs, like you, you, know, you wanna max out your RAM slot, you can go all the way up to 120 uh, 8 gig. Uh, let's put this here. This will help you like if you are into like rendering if you're into like a 3d models If you know you renders a lot of 3d models and stuff uh, That will help you a lot. You know if you want to use your your computer for like let's put this here You know, you know as a server, you know if you want to run a lot of uh, virtual machines then high, More RAMs will help you. Okay, so that's one thing I really like now, if you look at the channel uh, support right here, channel support, uh, you know, all the stream other mode does run uh, dual channels, so that's okay. Uh, if you look at the PCI Express, now the main difference uh, between uh, the B450 motherboard, X470 motherboard, now B450 motherboard uh, runs uh, the, the, the PCI Express uh, 3.0 and also uh, X470 also have PCI Express 3.0. Now, if you compare to like X570, X570 is running right now PCI Express 4.0. Now, for graphics card wise, the performance wise, you are not going to see difference. The only big difference you guys are going to see with the M.2. Okay, so if you do have like an M.2 SSD, let's put it if you have a Samsung M.2 SSD, you will see like a uh, higher speed you will get way better speed, almost double of the speed with a PCI Express uh, 4.0. Of course, you, you need to buy a M.2 with like a uh, higher read and write speed, but you will have better luck with a PCI Express 4.0 compared to PCI Express 3.0 because that's the only difference I've seen with the PCI Express uh, 4.0. If you do care about M.2 speed, then go with X570 motherboard. Uh, SATA is uh, same and yes uh, with all the stream motherboard you can run the uh, newer APU you can run uh, Ryzen 3 3200G and also uh, Ryzen 3400G. Ryzen 3 3200G and 3400G is still running on uh, 12 nanometer Zen Plus so you can run out the box you can run with uh, B450 motherboard and X450 motherboard. Uh, if you're planning on going with Ryzen 3 3200G or Ryzen 5 3400G, then you can go with B450 motherboard and uh, X470 motherboard. Now again, the motherboard I'm running right now, uh, Asus RG Strix B450 motherboard. I couldn't overclock my Ryzen uh, 3 3200G uh, with the regular AI tweaker setting, so I don't know. It could be my motherboard, but I'm just letting you guys know. I, like I said, I would, I would highly recommend you guys to go with the X570 motherboard. Doesn't matter which new generation CPU you're buying right now. And if you're buying brand new, definitely go with the X570 USB. So most of the X570 motherboards, even the cheapest SRAG X570 motherboard we have here, the, even the cheapest one will have uh, USB 3.2 uh, Gen 2. Okay. Uh, and I don't think they come with USB 3.0. 3.0 anymore they comes with uh, uh, USB 3.2 either Gen 1 or USB 3.2 Gen 2 now compared to uh, Like the X B450 motherboard you guys can see it does come with USB 3.1 Gen 1 Maybe some of them does come with Gen 2. I'm not sure but USB uh, X5 but X470 comes with USB 3.1 Gen 1 so uh, Most of the older gen motherboard really didn't come with uh, Gen 2 uh, gen 2 uh, you can see 
Uh, this one uh, here, X470, did came with USB 3.1 Gen 2, but not USB 3.2 Gen 2. Uh, I believe USB uh, 3.2 uh, Gen 2, uh, most of the uh, runs like 10 gigabit speed. So yeah, that's the difference. Alright guys, so I know maybe some of you guys would be mad because I didn't cover everything and like I said, at this very moment, I don't have the ASRock X570 motherboard. I'm still waiting. So after I receive the motherboard, I will make like an unboxing and like a quick overview video. Now, the main reason for making this video because some of you guys always ask me uh, about like which motherboard you should get like B450, X470 or X570 for the new Ryzen 3000 series CPU. So at least now you have, you know, the base idea. Like if you get a B450 motherboard, you can run up to four AMD graphics card in Crossfire, but you can only run a single NVIDIA graphics card, so no SLI support. Now with X470 and X570, you can run SLI and also up to four AMD graphics card in Crossfire. And also, if you buy B450 motherboard or X470 motherboard for Ryzen 3000 series CPU, you need to update the motherboard bias with either first gen Ryzen CPU or second gen Ryzen CPU. If you do like this video, please don't forget to give thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you're watching me for the first time. And stay tuned for more content like this.